This is a quick demo of the curve drawing tool that's been added to Blender. This uh, works in uh, curve edit mode. So rather than sort of extruding and editing the handles, you can just draw a curve directly. So this is based on OpenTunes, um, the code from OpenTunes, although there's a sort of an algorithm that they in turn have been based on, which is quite general in most applications such as Inkscape use this as well. So this is a typical sort of curve you'd expect from a 2D vector application. I'm just going to turn the normals off. Um, and there's nothing really that special about that, although it is handy of course to have have the ability to, to, to draw this kind of curve. However, I'll just go into some of the 3D options for curve drawing, which is a little more specific to Blender. So I'm going to make the uh, curve have some some shape, some uh, make it solid so you can see it, and uh, give it a material. Um, make it extra bright. Okay, so to test this, I'll um, add some objects to draw on to, and uh, then yeah, show how it works. So I'm making these quite sub highly subdivided, mainly so the curve draws smoothly onto them. It'll work either way, um, but it just looks a bit nicer if the curve is uh, yeah, not sort of jittery based uh, as it goes over the faces. Um, so there's a new options tab, and here there's uh, sort of the tolerance and uh, corner detection, those you'd find in most 2D drawing applications, but there's some other options for uh, for mapping the pressure, the minimum, uh, minimum and maximum pressure to the uh, tablet pressure, and tapering the radius, which is sort of handy. So okay, so let's draw, do a sort of a standard drawing onto the surface. And uh, I guess it does what it's supposed to do. You can turn the radius down there and you can see the, the width that it draws changes. Alright, I'm um, just going to turn the tolerance down a little bit. And that means that between these surfaces it'll give quite quite good, uh, it'll follow the corners quite, quite well. Alright, so as well as this, um, I'll just turn ambient occlusion on, it looks a bit nicer. As well as this, you can uh, use tablet pressure. Um, so I'm just turning that on, and I'll make the radius a bit higher because I'm not going to be pushing super hard on the tablet the whole time. Okay, so I'm switching to the tablet now, and uh, probably a bit wide still. I'll make the tolerance a bit higher because it was a little jittery before, uh, as in the curves were a bit too closely spaced. Okay, so this is sort of what you'd expect. And the tapering can be used, it looks rather nice, just to make the end points, um, that's actually a bit, bit much, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And this means that it'll taper the ends off. To, to points. If you have um, the values are really high, this is in point 0.5, it'll uh, taper along the entire length of the curve. Uh, like this. Okay. So I'm just demoing how that works. And you can draw on top of the curves as well, so like this. Um, we might want to have that as an option later, whether you know you might not want to draw uh, onto the curves and only draw onto objects outside of edit mode, um, but we'll see. Okay, so that's um, kind of strange, but anyway, that's a demo of how drawing onto the surface works. But you might want to draw sort of into into the 
I don't know, uh, off, might want to draw off the surface or have things coming out. And in that case, doing this doesn't work so well. You don't want to draw directly onto the surface for every pixel, you just want to do it for the first. And there's an option called only first, um, and that allows you to do just this. I'm just going to turn the taper, the start taper off, and, uh, and demo this. So this just uses the surface normal that you first draw onto and uh, makes a line coming out from that. And you can see it's coming towards the view. So unlike a lot of sculpt tools, not a lot of, I guess, sculpt tools that you just draw, drag out and it um, uses the view plane, this is using the, the, the surface normal. Not always what you want. If you draw, I don't know, might be a bit confusing. But um, that, that's handy, and you can um, use the surface normal, or sorry, the, sur uh, the surface plane. And in this way, your um, just uses the the place where you start drawing as a plane that you draw aligned with. All right, um, and the view plane, which is similar, but it just yeah. It's lines to the view it's quite quite simple um, something I didn't mention before is the offset and that can be used to push away from the sort of away from the normal where it starts drawing so you might well hang on you might want to draw sort of above rather than just aligned with and that works in all the different um, surface modes so you can turn off only first and uh, you can see here that it draws directly on top of instead of sort of uh, when it's zero it goes sort of between and if you do minus one well close to it'll draw it draws under which is not really so useful but yeah you can I guess make it a little bit higher oh the taper by the way the taper is um not taken into account. That's why the second half isn't visible. So I'll just turn that off. And yeah, this will, you'll be able to see it. Yep, so it's kind of pushed back. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, a few other things you can, you can adjust the curve once you've drawn it. You can adjust the options. So you can see the redo panel, the error here. A lower error gives you more curves, more points, I mean, in the curve. Um, and a higher error allows you to have much, a much simpler curve, though if you do very high, it takes all the detail out of the spline. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, I'm sure people can make much more interesting <laughs> artwork than I'm making now, but I uh, hope you find it useful. Okay, thanks for watching.